what is the most surprising thing about the latest 2025 Honda Rebel 1100? If the already available Rebel offers effortless power harmoniously combined with contemporary elegance, this Grand Cruiser is set to face new competition in its class. They have released striking new colors for 2024, seamlessly blending a captivating parallel twin engine and four selectable riding modes with bold and online aesthetics, captivating everyone who crosses its path. Is there a new design for 2025? They have released new colors, but there are no definite leaks regarding next year's design, performance, and colors. This makes designers work hard on it, considering the heavy competition in its class. Like the Royal Enfield Meteor 350, which has a design similar to the Rebel, but is priced lower, the Honda Rebel 1100 and the Royal Enfield Meteor 350 have a classic style that appeals to many riders. There are several names that the Rebel has to compete with, such as the Kawasaki Vulcan 650, Benelli Liancino 500, and Harley-Davidson Iron 883. Looking at the 2024 Rebel, with its low seat height, anti-lock braking system, cruise control, and options for choosing between the innovative automatic DCT transmission or the classic six-speed manual, the Rebel 1100 is the definition of versatility. Before the official model was released, we envisioned a unique and bold color to dance in urban twists with a modern and attention-grabbing contemporary style, a combination of flagship yellow and light green. This is truly stunning. This illustration presents a minimalist horizontal headlight, which is genuinely unprecedented. Will this be honored in the market? We don't know. We just want to see the latest changes for the upcoming Rebel. In fact, the current headlight design of the Honda Rebel 1100 is a round main headlight. The Rebel 1100 features a headlight with a 3-inch round nacelle that adds much character to the bike. Overall, we can only imagine small changes for the next generation of the Honda Rebel 1100 before the official model is revealed to the market. As for performance, it may remain the same as what they have previously worked on. Twin cylinder engine, 270 degree phase crank, chain final drive, Unicam engine design, and special camshaft timing. Here, we will skip the engineering session. Why? Because it is tough for us to get to it. Next is the style session, which may be mixed up due to the lack of information circulating. For the next model, the blacked out style will still dominate the latest Rebel. The Rebel family will continue to present blacked out engine parts, frame, forks, and bodywork elements that look good in the daytime and even better at night, even coating the final drive chain in black. The 2025 Rebel might also retain the modern classic instrument shape, Iconic elements combine traditional and modern, and the Rebel's instruments take a classic shape and fill it with up-to-date reverse image digital LCD information. The instruments include a speedometer, tachometer, gear position indicator, fuel indicator, engine output mode, torque control level, engine braking mode, and more. Premium rear suspension is predicted to offer serious canyon riding and relaxed cruising. A pair of remote reservoir shocks filled with nitrogen and unique spring rates. Just like the front suspension, this is about adding comfort and performance to your riding experience. Black muffler, forget polishing chrome, the Rebel's black exhaust system blends perfectly with the bike's overall look. Perhaps its most significant plus is the incredible sound essential to the riding experience. Fuel tank, one of the essential items in motorcycle design is the fuel tank, and this has received particular attention in our design this time. The iconic fuel tank shape of the Rebel 1100 presents a unique addition design with a slight green stripe on the yellow tank. For the comfort session, we can only quote from Honda's official page, and it also remains eternal based on their previous achievements. Low seat height, the cruiser's low seat height is almost universally liked. The Rebel 1100 has one of the lowest seats out there. Comfortable while you ride, and easier to put your feet down at traffic lights or parking lots. This will also make it difficult for its competitors. Flat foot friendly, one of the things you'll notice the first time you sit on a Rebel is how narrow the critical tank seat junction is. The design makes it easier to get on and off the bike and put your feet down when stopping. 
Plus, it helps the Rebel adapt to a wide range of riders, 